Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. Hey guys. So tonight we are down in the speakeasy. Jamie's with us tonight. Are you excited? A little, yeah. So Okay, a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's it, this is a good night for Jamie. So this is yeah. the first time that we're ever going to do a four-way blind with Jamie. Mm -hmm. Now, we've been collecting some bourbon, some whiskeys that are supposedly things that she's hopefully going to like. And I decided to put together a set of four bottles. And some of those may be stuff she's had before that we know she's liked from previous videos, from previous live streams and stuff. And then some of them are new things that she's never tried before. I'm a little confident that between the four bottles that she's having, <laughs> that some of them uh, <laughs> she'll are, like. Are you confident? Or are you yeah. a little confident? Or are you a lot confident? Well, before we started filming, I was really <laughs> confident. But now as I'm on camera, I'm starting to think that maybe I'm a little less confident than I was. We know from prior testing that Jamie likes the old Forrester 1910, the uh, Vermont Distillery Maple Bourbon, the Bull Run Maple Bourbon, and then the Phil's Shadow uh, Maple Finished Rye. In the tasting tonight, there's at least one of those four bottles. There could be more, but there's at least one. I don't know. I think you've said that before. I'm a little confident. I, I think we went through a nine-way tasting in... I only like two out of all the ones that you felt confident about, so. Well, those were... I'm really, I'm anxious to do this. Well, those so. those all were <laughs> ones that we had here in the speakeasy that I didn't buy for, specifically for you. Mm -hmm. These ones tonight, all of them were bought specifically for Jamie. I hope it works out tonight. Did you, like, in one of the cups, are you going to be pouring some just maple syrup straight out? <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this all day, though. I I, I'm pretty excited to do this. So how we're going to do this is Jamie, again, she doesn't know what she's drinking other than at least one of them. At minimum, one of them are stuff that she knows she's liked. The rest mm -hmm. of them are a surprise. So Jamie's going to have four glasses. I'm going to have four glasses. We're going to do a essentially a, a, a four-way blind to figure out what is the best ultra-sweet, super mapley, delicious bourbon tonight. Before we get into it, if you end up enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. And now let's get this started. Yeah. So Jamie, guess what? What? You have to leave the speakeasy so I can pour these bottles into the glasses Sounds and then good. mix them up. All right, we'll move out my way. And leave the crackers. Those are staying. All right, so in a whiskey row first, I have actually had these four bottles in the cooler cooling with a big ice pack for probably about four hours, so they should be nice and cold. This way, Jamie doesn't have to ask for ice cubes or anything else, and it should still be nice and cool for her. Now, let's find out what I pulled out to, for the competition tonight. Now, first off tonight is the Cape Charles Maple Bourbon, and some of you guys, after I did the haul videos with, with this, said it was kind of so-so, didn't like it. However, I opened it up, and I think it's spot on for Jamie. So I've got this here. This is going to be number one. Number two tonight is Knob Creek ma Smoked Maple. Now, this is coming in at 90 proof. It should be something right up her alley. I did open it up a little while ago, had a pour of it, and it's not bad. Like, I think she's going to dig it. It's got a nice, really, a really good sweetness to it. So it's, I think she's going to dig it. I think she's going to like it. Number three is Old Forester 1910. Obviously the classic. What I didn't want to do is do the, uh, one of the two maple bourbon because I was worried that they'd be just too overly sweet. And I have a feeling that she's going to lose the 1910 flavor because some of these other ones are actually are a little more sweet than the 1910. So I'm hopeful that this will get lost and she'll end up putting this in like third or fourth place because I think that would be hilarious. Now number four tonight is gonna to be this Widow Jane uh, whiskey distilled from rye mash, oak and applewood aged. Now I was a little surprised when I opened this, but this actually reminded me of the 1910. It's, it's less caramel and more fruity, but it had some of those similar characteristics that I really kind of liked from a 1910. So this is gonna be number four tonight. So what I'm going to do to blind this, because I already know what numbers they are, I'm actually going to mix up one row, then I'm going to mix up the next row, and then I'm going to color match to the first row. So I'll kind of lose you know, perspective of which one was which. We have them in the same order. So you're, this is position one, position two, position three, position four. And I'm, then I've got position one, two, three, and four. And they're, they're the same. And then we have the crackers in the middle so that I don't have to try to wrestle you for crackers. All right, so we're going we're gonna to do this at the same time. So let's let's start with position one. Anything exciting happen while you were out? <laughs> I got a few baskets. Yeah, you did. I had to tell you to stop. because I know, I got you. <laughs> he yelled at me. Ooh, smells really good. 
So on the nose, this one isn't, I don't pick up much on the proof side and it's, mm -mm. it's really sweet. It's almost like a mix between like maple syrup and strawberries. You want to try it? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. I like that. That's good. That's really good. It's really good. I don't think it's one of my bourbons though. You don't? No. Okay. All right. Well, we'll write, write that down. Wow. Yeah. It's really, really like maple syrup. I do taste, is that the oak that I taste that I feel like kind of comes through my nose a little bit? <laughs> it might be. It might be. And there's like almost to me, there's almost like pancakes in there too. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like buttered pancakes smothered in maple syrup. I almost get a little bit of like a breakfast sausage too. Do you get any of that? Like a, a maple syrup over a little breakfast link or something? Yeah, I think so. Because I think that's that um, like not smoky taste, but. It's almost a little bit. It's like a. A little bit of a smokiness to it, but not like a scotch smokiness. It's it's like I said, it's almost like a smoked sausage type of thing. I'm pretty sure I don't recognize this one though. Okay. All right, here we go. Position two. Mm. The, so the smell, not as sweet as the first one, right yeah. off the bat. It's less sweet. Smooth. A little bit more herbalness. Yeah, I think it's the it's, herbalness. It's, that... it's not so syrupy sweet though. Mm-mm. You want to try it or you want to yeah. talk about it some more? No, let's, let's try it. it. That one tastes familiar. Do you think that one tastes familiar? Yeah, it does. So I'm definitely getting more, more herbalness, a hint of clove. Mm. Much less sweetness than the first one. I don't love this one as much as I love the, I like the first one. Yeah, the herbalness is really coming out to me oh, right now. Oh, yeah. So. Okay. So it's definitely this one first. Okay. I'm getting syrup, but I'm also getting like apples, like think, fresh cut that... apples with a little bit of like cinnamon, like uh, like apple cinnamon, like baked apple cinnamon from like Cracker Barrel. I don't like, like the barrel. smell of it at all. Okay. You want to try it? Yeah. Wow. That's good. That's really good. Cheers to this one. <laughs> it does. Is this yeah, like... I'm picking good stuff. I feel like this is like apple... Like it's, sweet apple. It's almost like a caramel apple, caramel covered apple, but not super caramel. It's more like maple I, syrup covered apple. I don't taste the proof at all. Position four. This smells familiar. Ooh. There's almost a little bit of like a rice spice on the nose. It's sweet. It is but sweet. But it's not maple syrup sweet. It's more of just like a sweet, sweet. Like some like vanilla cream. Mm-hmm. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. I've had this, I think, before. This is the one that I feel like tastes like iced tea. This is not that gopher one. I'm not telling you. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> it's drinkable. It's, it's not, not bad. It's not I, bad. Yeah, it's not killing me with a proof. It just, like, at the end, I taste iced tea for some reason. It tastes like a... So, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of an herbalness. It's got a very kind of a light syrup taste. Hint of clove. And I'm definitely getting kind of, like... Kind of a fruity woodiness. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're going to go through and we're going to rank them. You rank yours, I'll rank mine, and then we'll be right back. Okay, Jamie, you got your rankings? Yep. I got mine. And all right, let's talk about these because ours don't match up at all, which yeah. doesn't surprise me. All yeah, right? like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go for more bourbon tasting stuff, and you're probably going to go for more sweet and easy sipping stuff. Right. Place. So it's completely opposite. We are completely opposite. <laughs> that's good. Actually, yeah. that means that it's actually like the results are probably pretty valid. Because that's, that's so weird. <laughs> How many of these do you think are from your four current favorite bourbons? Two. Two? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just one. Okay. So that's good because honestly, a few of them I was like, really like, oh, have I tasted this one? You want to see which bottles we have tonight? Yeah. All right. Let's see. And I'm going to guess where each goes because I, I am I feel that confident to try that at least. Okay. So in the competition tonight, Jamie, we have the Cape Charles Maple Whiskey. We have the Knob Creek Smoked Maple. Then we have the 1910 by Old Forester. And we have the Widow Jane Rye Whiskey that's finished in oak and apple wood. Now your job is to place them because I think I know what they are. So you go first. Wow, and you go next. is 1910? Did it move into one of these spots? Mm -hmm. You have to try it. It has a good aftertaste, okay. but it's it's rough. Man, if that's 1910, 
just move from there. <laughs> you guys, I'm, I, I can't come back ever if that's 1910. So this is just... Do you remember where you've had iced tea flavored before? That's a consistent flavor that you've described in certain types of whiskey. So I'm interested. Is that a rye? Mm. Come on, give me a hint. Off camera. No, I already <laughs> gave you a hint because it's in, you've described whiskeys before that tastes like iced tea and there's a consistent theme in those whiskeys. Is that a rye? Would that be this one? No, I'm not helping you. No, I'm scared. I've given you a I don't like this, guys. So right now you think that your first place is with the Widow Jane. Your second place is 1910, you think is 1910. Your third place is the uh, Cape Charles uh, Maple Whiskey. And then your fourth place is the Knob Creek. 1910 has been a little tricky through my journey because we had a bottle that was open for a little while, so it tasted smooth and perfect. And then like even during the live stream on Saturday, mm -hmm. I drank 1910 and it wasn't as smooth as it usually is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, there's slight that's variations why I'm in kind bottles, of so. that's why I'm kind of second guessing myself. All right, so what's fourth place? Lift your glass. But, all right, third place. Second and first. David's let me use his podiums. Okay, so we're gonna reveal these in the order that Jamie picked them, even though, you know, we got ours are backwards. So mm -hmm. when we reveal your fourth place, that's my first place. So that's so what's on the bottom of that one? Three. So number three is my number one, and it's your last place. Number three is... <gasps> 19 Sin! Holy mother fudger. It, I promise. It's, you, put, you put 1910 in last place. No, I didn't. Oh, you so did. Let's start over. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are you serious? I don't want to do this anymore. So your third I'm place done. is my second place. Four. Number four. Oh, you gave me a hint with the rye thing. It's the rye thing. Number two. Is it the Creek smoked maple. So this was the winner. That's the Cape Charles. So what? Cape Charles Distillery, uh, just north of Virginia Beach. A local, a local boy won. It's. I, do, I hate the way it smells. Okay. But I love the way it tastes. Even though I mixed them up and I lost track of which was which, during tasting, I totally nailed which was which. Like, I, I, I knew pretty quick which He's was which. He's lying. No, I Out did. of all those videos you did and you're like... The only... You did horrible, but yet Jamie's tasting is when you do amazing. I no. Uh-uh. Why then? Well, at least knowing that 1910 was last place, that means that I have three more bourbons that I love. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video tonight. If you've ever thought about supporting us on Patreon, check out our benefits page over there. We have got the best benefits we've ever had. We just revamped them recently and we're very, very excited about those. Thank you so much to our current Patreons for your continued support. And until next time, Find, Find a, a bottle, bottle you, you love. love. Find some bottles you love. <laughs> Guess I know where you're going. <laughs> you can help me. I got myself into trouble. <laughs> I should not do a four-way blind. I've been standing here how long waiting for some bourbon. <laughs> David, stop laughing at me. <laughs> Do you get nervous when I look at you? No, I don't. That's just really awkward though when I'm trying to go. Because if you hear me talking and sing what you mean, I'm Stop eating crackers and get out. Ow. Ow. David, it's in a whiny pants tonight. Ow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? I like I'm just smiling at the camera. Oh, this smells super sweet and really good. Look pretty and smile at the camera. I know, you get to be me tonight. Be like, smooth kind of nutty. Ah! Find a bottle you Find love. Find a bottle you love. <laughs> Let's try that.